Could somebody get temporarily stuck, glued, to a wall by way of energy or some other force? My story takes place in the future with advanced technology and I have a torture scene where I need prisoners to be immobilized against a wall, but not permanently. I'm wondering if it could be done through energy or some kind of force unseen by the naked eye. I originally had magnetized nanobots that would attach to the wall through the prisoner's skin, but that's probably not going to work. What other technology could somewhat realistically immobilize someone against a wall? Use. Tentacles. Dot. Lots of tentacles. You never go wrong with tentacles and there is never too much of them. A prisoner dangling from tentacles slithering over their bodies has no leverage to free themselves regardless of how strong they are. They cannot tear apart the tentacles because the tentacles are constantly moving and can easily maintain their grip while avoiding the hands, teeth and feet of their prisoner. And even if they get lucky the tentacles are smooth and covered with lubricant so you cannot pull at them enough to break them. And a compact cylinder made of metal is hard to crush. They cannot really gather their strength because the tentacles coiled around their bodies constrict their breathing and they are constantly out of breath. They cannot even talk unless you want them to because the tentacles can gag them or constrain their breathing. And since they are dangling from constantly moving tentacles they are too disoriented to really focus or target anything. So even if could somehow free themselves they would have no knowledge which orientation they would end up. This is really paralyzing to people evolved from monkeys who had to fear death by falling from a tree. People evolved from cats might of course just trust they will fall on their feet. The prisoner will also be unable to hide nasty surprises. The tentacles will search every inch of their body, repeatedly. They will even search under any loose clothing. If you incorporate some ultrasound technology they will even efficiently search inside the body as well. You can even take samples to check for poisons and disease. And all of this is more or less automatic result of the random appearing movements of the tentacles on the prisoner. You can even add some chemicals into the mix. Since the prisoners will get thoroughly covered in the lubricant on the tentacles any drugs added to it will make their way into the mouth, lungs, eyes and other places there they can be absorbed. Typically you would want to make prisoners more docile and cooperative but fear and pain would be fairly easy as well. Drugs to block any special abilities would be good too.